there may be a time when God unexpectedly interrupts your quiet, predictable routine and calls you to an adventure. The biblical figures of old were not perfect people. They were simply willing to say yes to God's call. Mary's heart felt as though it was about to beat right out of her chest. She whispered a prayer to the Lord, I am your servant. Hello and welcome to another Christmas episode of the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. I'm Dr. Andrew Farley, and it's a joy to join you this Christmas season as we contemplate the wonder of Christ's birth. The road to Christmas wasn't an easy one. There was drama and danger that required faith to press forward. But out of the chaos, the Prince of Peace was born. Today, we begin our journey with Mary and place ourselves in her shoes. What would it have been like to receive the message from Gabriel that day? Mary wasn't from a prominent family or an heir to a throne. Her parents weren't scholars, nor was she engaged to a prince. She lived in an unremarkable town and belonged to a family who, despite their being descendants of David, didn't have any remarkable traits worthy of public note. On a mundane morning, Mary carried water to her home before receiving news that would change her life forever. Mary was a young woman filled with hope for the future. She was engaged to a man named Joseph, a local carpenter, descendant of David, and a well-respected man of God. Mary drew the water from the well, humming a sweet tune in the morning sun. She carried the water back to the goats, wiped her hands, and entered into her home. We don't know much about Mary's life before this event, but we do know she was engaged to Joseph. Dreams of romance and a new life occupied her mind day and night. Joseph was a kind and godly man who had no doubt been preparing a home for them to begin a new life together. They probably spoke of children and growing old together in the quiet town of Nazareth. But Mary's dreams were interrupted by a messenger from heaven. As she entered her home, she saw the angel Gabriel sitting near her window. Mary gasped and fell back towards the wall. Gabriel smiled. Greetings, O favored woman of God, he said warmly. Mary was speechless. The angel's presence disturbed her, and she darted her eyes towards the door to run. Do not be afraid, Gabriel exclaimed. You have found favor with God. Mary's heart was beating fast. She was only a girl and could not imagine what use God would have of her. Gabriel bent down closely to her. You will conceive a son. His name will be Jesus. He will be the promised son of David, the Messiah, the son of the living God, the king to bring peace upon all the nations. Mary's eyes began to water as the angel spoke. His kingdom will reign forever. At his name, every knee shall bow and every broken heart made whole. There may be a time when God unexpectedly interrupts your quiet, predictable routine and calls you to an adventure. The same thing happened to Abram, who was settled into a comfortable life tending to his father's land. He was advanced in years when God called him. He had many reasons to say no, but his heart compelled him to take a leap of faith. The call of God was too enticing to pass up. Mary had reasons to doubt Gabriel's words. She was a young, poor virgin and didn't come from a prominent family. What could God possibly do through her? Mary wiped her eyes and looked up at the angel. How could this be? I am a virgin, and I am not yet married to Joseph. Gabriel gave a warm grin to the girl. The same Holy Spirit that hovered over the waters of the earth will come upon you. The power of the Most High God will be with you. The baby will be born holy and will be the Son of God Himself. 
Gabriel stood to his feet and began to exit. He turned to Mary and said, Much has been set in motion, O favored one. Even your cousin Elizabeth has become pregnant in her old age. You may go and see her for yourself. The word of God will never fail. And with those words, the angel disappeared. Gabriel assured Mary that God never fails. When he sets out to accomplish something, we can have a full assurance that he'll follow through. Paul famously said in Philippians that God is always faithful to complete what he's begun. Mary stepped forward with faith like Abraham had long ago. She said yes to the call and embarked on a new adventure. Mary's heart felt as though it was about to beat right out of her chest. She whispered a prayer to the Lord, I am your servant. Then she sang to him and went to go visit her cousin Elizabeth. The biblical figures of old were not perfect people. They were simply willing to say yes to God's call. Mary's story invites us to be brave in the face of uncertainty and to respond to the call of God with faith and confidence. There will be many unanswered questions, and the path will not always be easy. But what awaits us on the other side of faithfulness is worth the struggle. You're invited to embark on a magnificent adventure, a journey that transcends your location your job, or your situation. It's an adventure of expressing the very life of Christ within you, a life that is bursting with love, peace, and goodness. This adventure is not reserved for a special occasion or fleeting moments of inspiration. No, it's a daily, all-encompassing experience. You've been given a new resurrection heart that desires to trust God and display His glorious nature in every aspect of your life. Christ leads you from within, whispering His wisdom and prompting you to express His love and grace in your attitudes and actions. Trust in the truth that you're perfectly united with Christ and that He is leading you every step of the way. Allow His life-giving Spirit to flow through you, bringing comfort, peace, and a deep sense of connection with God. Embrace the astonishing reality that your heart is in sync with His and that you have a heart-to-heart relationship with the Creator of the universe. Remember, you've been equipped to love others with the same love that flows from God's heart. Your new identity in Christ empowers you to release His love, His kindness, and His compassion to those around you. You're a vessel of His grace, a conduit of His mercy. So, my friend, this Christmas, embrace the adventure with joy and anticipation. You're not just a spectator. You're an active participant, partnering with the Spirit of God to display His glory to the world. He's leading you into a life of purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode or learned something new about the Bible, share it with a friend or family member. Download the Pray.com app, and for more encouragement in God's grace, visit andrewfarley.org. That's andrewfarley.org. America's federal debt just reached $33 trillion, and many economists predict the weight of this crippling debt load will soon topple the whole financial system. Concerned Americans are diversifying their assets into physical gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. If you want a physical asset held in a tax-sheltered retirement account, you should call Birch Gold too. But learn for yourself. Text the word HEARTBEAT to 989898 and they'll send you a free info kit on gold. 
If you have an IRA or a 401k from a previous employer just gathering dust, Birch Gold can help you convert it into an IRA in gold, and you don't have to pay a penny out of pocket. Text HEARTBEAT to the number 989898 to claim your free info kit on gold. There's no cost or obligation, so do it now. Text HEARTBEAT to 989898.